Today we are making Great Grandma's Devil's Food Cake on page 281. This is a great depression recipe that my great grandmother made. First we're going to take and put our shortening and our cocoa in our bowl. Now let me show you how to measure shortening. You fill your measuring cup with water. You can see I have one and a half cups of water in my measuring cup. Then I'm going to scoop my shortening. I added a half, that's a half a cup of shortening, one and a half plus a half a cup is two cups. So you can see my water line is at two cups. And then I'm just gonna add the two tablespoons. So there you can see it's just above two cups. And you just pour the water out of your measuring cup. Don't let your shortening fall out. So we're putting our shortening in our bowl. And we're going to measure a third of a cup of cocoa. which is five tablespoons. So if you don't wanna use the measuring cup, a third of a cup is five tablespoons. Add our cocoa. Then we're gonna have one cup of boiling water. Now you'll notice that this recipe is slightly different than my great grandma's recipe card on the same page. That's because grandma used to get the baking cocoa in bars instead of shortening and cocoa. But the bars of baking chocolate now are kind of expensive. You can just use melted shortening and baking cocoa and it's the same exact thing. Also for this recipe, if you wanna melt your shortening in the microwave, that's totally fine. Grandma didn't have a microwave, so that's why I'm making it her way. Now we're gonna add our sugar. Now I just keep my scoops in my flour and my sugar. Usually I have a half cup. I don't know where my half cup went, so I've got a quarter cup right now. And then I just measure directly and I don't have to dirty extra utensils. So that's really nice. Then salt. You want baking soda, not powder. The acidity in the sour milk reacts with the baking soda, so you don't need baking powder for this recipe. Then our two eggs. Then I have some soured milk. If you have soured milk, but you don't have baking to do yet, you can freeze it in ice cube trays, let it sour sufficiently, a week or two is fine. And then I freeze it in ice cube trays and pull out my sour milk as I need it. Add that. Now, you can use the mixer if you want. Grandma didn't have a mixer, so I'm showing you how I do it by hand. I get everything mixed up first before I add the flour. Just to make sure everything is incorporated really well. Now I'm gonna add my two cups of flour. There's one and two, and I'm putting just a bit more because my one was just shy of one cup. All right, now we just get this really mixed well. Now, if we are doing it like grandma, she would have saved her margarine or her butter wrapper, and would have greased her pans with her butter or margarine wrapper. Now, I know that this is 2022, so if you wanna just use cooking spray, you can. Then we're gonna divide the batter between the two cake pans. Smooth it out. And we're gonna bake at 350 degrees. The recipe is in the description below. Great Grandma's Devil's Food Cake. It's still delicious a hundred years later.